Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for the late start. I was actually supposed to do this um, a little after six, but um, I was, um, I'm a moderator, and um, as you know, Auntie Olivia did a lot. I'm into the chat, please. Would like to donate to the chat. Um, my um, cash app is dollar sign unc claude UNC, capital unc capital c l a u d e i would listen all donations are appreciated um but obviously it costs absolutely nothing to hit the like button and as you know um listen unfortunately some of this is our fault and i'm going to tell you why the fact that Max Kellerman was emboldened to say these things is because of the fact so many of our so-called people basically tried to invite Max Kellerman to the quote-unquote barbecue. I mean, oh, Max is blacker than Stephen A. Smith. Um, black, I mean, excuse me, uh, Max is much more plays good cop, bad cop in my estimation with um, Stephen A. Smith. And I'm going to leave, for the most part, I'm going to leave Stephen A. Smith out of this this particular um, upload because, you, first of all, number one, you already know where I stand with Stephen A. Smith. I mean, it's common knowledge. And even though I give him credit for literally carrying ESPN over these... Um, past couple of years, especially since um, old Skip Bayless left. But um, let's face it, we know what Stephen A's agenda is. I mean, he is who he is. He really tries to play both sides of the fence, and he's he'll definitely coon for a Disney check, for lack of a better term. That's what he does. That's who he is. So, I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, he brings nothing absolutely nothing to the table when it comes to this particular upload. But this is all about Max Kellerman because he really crossed the line when first off, he claimed that Stephen, well, at first he was criticizing Deshaun Jackson and he sort of did it um, offhandedly well, I want to accept his apology, but I need to hear more. You know, we always, it's amazing how we always have to explain ourselves to other nations. That, and I guess that's always going to be till the end of time as long as we deal with what we're dealing with here. But then he tried to say that Stephen Jackson didn't have he had um low low quality information i mean <laughs> jeez and then tried to say that he had an inferior education and i'm paraphrasing that i mean he did go to cal berkeley and and i understand that he was a football scholarship i get that but still cal berkeley is not exactly a BS um, type of institution for higher learning. Cal Berkeley is a very good, one of the top universities in the country. So for him to talk about his quality of education, he was dead wrong on that. And then he doubles down on that to talk about Steven Jackson, who was about the only person who defended Sean Jackson and then tries to talk about his quality of education and then he really crosses the line when he calls the Hebrew Israelites lunatics saying that they were lunatics that they everything that they're saying is not true first off and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because, quite frankly, I actually had seen this earlier today 
I don't watch, even though mainly I deal with sports for the most part, I really don't watch um, first take anymore for the most part because, number one, there's no real sports going on right now. And number two, I mean, to be quite honest, I don't like the Stephen A. Smith, Max Kellerman dynamic. I don't think that they're very entertaining. Um, the Lady Molly Quirum Rose, she's annoying. I can't stand her because she'll cut you off every, like, five minutes. Like, you know, she tries to make it feel like she's important to the show. And she's supposed to be a moderator, but she's more of an interference than anything else. And Max Kellerman, basically, I mean, he he's basically made his bones in the fight game. And, he's, and he is good at that, no question about it. But the dynamic between him and Stephen A. Smith to me is lacking, but I digress. You see, Max has to be educated in a few things, and he knows these things, but he's doing the old bait and switch. Let's let's put a, a couple of things first off out there. Number one, the he keeps referring to himself as, as Jewish, and I understand that for some people, Jewish is a faith, and for some people, Jewish is their act, they claim is their lineage. The term Jew actually only refers to the tribe of Judah. There are 12 tribes in Israel, at least the original Israel, because Israel right now is a very small piece of land in the Middle East right now. That's that's not really biblical Israel. Biblical Israel was much greater than that. But that's another upload for another time. But then when he claims that basically the 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 Hebrew Israelites who happen to be a brown hue who are black, they, he claims that that is, that is a falsehood. Now, what I am going to do is do something that neither Max Kellerman or Stephen Jackson or Deshaun Jackson did, for that matter. And that is, I am going to go to the Bible itself. Because, unfortunately, neither one of these people did that. And to be honest, and I already did a live stream on this before, Deshaun Jackson was wrong to even, for to one, try to quote something from Adolf Hitler. He was dead wrong for that. But also, he quoted something that Hitler never even said. I mean, anybody know everybody knows that Adolf Hitler hated, I mean, let's face it, if you remember the 19th, I mean, just as an example, the 1936 Olympics that were held in Berlin, he touted the Germans as the master race, and he often referred to our people as monkeys. So that, again, was the first mistake. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the Bible and I am going to start with Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verses 5 and six. And this is the King James Version of the Bible. And this is often referred to as the Old Testament. I hope, and I know Max Kellerman probably is not listening to little old me, but that's fine. I could care less. I'm not obviously doing this for Max Kellerman, so to speak, but I am doing this. 
because we have to prove these things in order to say him. And chapter one, verse five, I am black. No, he did not say he was white or Caucasian. He did not say he was Oriental. He did not say that he was Greco-Roman. He did not say he was Palestinian. Let me say it again. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Chapter 6, he goes on to say, Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me keeper of the vineyards, but mine own vineyard I have not kept. I mean, so, obviously he was talking about his skin tone. And further proof of that is in verse 6, because I am black, and why? Because the sun hath looked upon me. So right then and there, that lets you know that the Israelites are black. I mean, th there's that is not coming from my mouth, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I read that from the Bible, from Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. These are not my words. I will not take credit for something that was written thousands of years ago. And that is only one example of how we know that the Israelites are black. And again, I cannot stress it enough. The term Jew only refers to one tribe, and that is the tribe of Judah. Hey, Jasmine Virgo. Yeah, I, I was late on that one, and good evening to you. And I was late because, um, as you know, um, Auntie Olivia had a live earlier, and, I, you know, I moderate that. You know, I'm a moderator there, and I know I could have done it around that time, but, I mean, to be quite honest, that was an interesting topic as well, um, talking about uh, Will and Jada. And plus, I'm be honest, I was also busy taking care of a few other things within the household. But I did want to, I had to do this particular um, upload. And I will do another upload this evening, um, you know, my late night live stream, which I'm going to really <laughs> go in on certain people. But that is another chapter and another book. And I am glad. I'm, you know, I'm always glad to see you here in the chat. No question about it. Thank you so much, Miss Jasmine Virgo. Now I will put out. I will go to another Bible verse to prove that the Israelites that are talked about in the Bible are black. Let us go now. Jeremiah, again, I will use their words. Okay. I am not using my words. Very important because this is not about me. It is not about how I feel about anything because once I do, I lose credibility. It's as simple as that. I have to go by what and yeah that we are doing very well i thank you so much for asking but i have to go by that and i will go here is jeremiah excuse me 14 chapter 14 and verse 2 okay 
Just a moment. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Notice the illustration there. Black unto the ground. Obviously, the ground, is, I mean, it's not black per se, but it's brown. It is a brown hue, which is what, I mean, it's, I, I don't know how much plainer I could actually say it. It is, and I'm going to use only two more Bible verses because I'll be here most of the night if I continue to keep going. But this is, I mean, we, we need to educate people as to, you, first of all, he was out of pocket calling any group of people lunatics, an entire group of people. I mean, if, if anything, he would be very upset people have returned, I mean, referred, excuse me, to the Jewish community as lunatics because they believe that they're the chosen people of XYZ land. They would be outraged if people were talking about the Jewish community. And notice they use the term Jewish. Ish means like. That is an attachment to a word. That means Jew-like. That, that doesn't mean Jew per se. Again, the term Jew only refers to the tribe of Judah. And if you have read the Bible properly, you know that there are 12 tribes in Israel. And again, this is a biblical Israel. We are not talking about the actual country of Israel, which is a real small part of what the real Israel is. But that's another chapter in another book. That's another upload for yet another day. And I will stay in Jeremiah. And I will go to, and I should have went here first. I will go chapter 8 and verse 21. Just a moment. Because I'm doing this all off of my little pad here. Please bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. And I will, I will do Jeremiah 8. Verses 21 and 22. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Again, how does, how does he refer to himself? I am black. I mean, there's really no need to go any further than that. I mean, again, these are not my words. I cannot stress this enough. These are the actual words that are in the Bible. Like I said, do two more Bible verses. But again, this man considered the so-called black Israelites lunatics. Doesn't sound like lunatics at all. It sounds like the absolute truth. Now let's go to Job, the Bible book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. <laughs> my skin is black upon me and my bones are burned with heat. Let me um, repeat that again for 
some of those who just didn't quite get it. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. You can't get it any more plainer than that. And a lot of people get the Bible messed up, and the Bible... The Bible is a couple of things. It is, number one, a book of prophecy. Number two, it is, it is a book of, of, of guidance and laws. And number three, the Bible also traces the lineage of the beginning of man to now, it, it, it basically traces the lineage of at first Noah after the flood. Then it shows how through the descendants of, of really Shem, which is where they get the term, and it's really anti-Shemitic because Shem is the lineage to Abraham. And Abraham is the lineage, as you know, to um, Jacob and Esau, and Jacob later became, had his name changed to Israel. And of course, he had 12 sons, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, because that lineage shows from those 12 tribes is where Jesus, son of Nazareth, came from. Because those, that's the true Israelites. And again, I cannot stress it enough, the term Jew only refers to the tribe of Judah, and that is the tribe where Jesus was born out of. And that is why the term is Salvation comes from the Jews. But that, again, that will be another upload for another time. Or else I will be here till, till probably Monday. And again, as you see, I have used nothing but biblical verses. These are not my own words. So this is not me. Oh, I feel it's this. Or it's that, oh, uh, you know what, in, in my estimation, it's so-and-so. This has nothing to do with how I feel and what I think might be. And you know what, I, all of these right here is the, old, the so-called Old Testament. But what I will do is go to the quote-unquote New Testament. And I will go to Revelation, which is the final book in the Bible, because it is very, very distinct on how Christ himself is described. It is very, very, very clear. And if you notice, unfortunately, the preacher in the pulpit in the churches are not telling you this, which is sin and the shame. That is part of the problem, that instead of preaching from the actual word itself, they want to make themselves bigger than the Most High himself. And that's why a lot of our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because instead of teaching what the Most High's words are, they want to interject themselves into the equation. And once you, I mean, it's, it's over once you do that, basically. Because you have lost all credibility. Because you've made it about you and not about God's word. Um, please bear with me right now, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm just trying to get to the verse. I am doing this off a device. Excuse me just a moment. Okay, I'm going to the book of Revelation. Just one moment. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm not really great with... of this just one moment. Just a moment. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm not there yet. Sorry about that. Trying to look for the actual one that shows, that describes, here it is. In fact, what I will do, and start, I will start Revelation, um, I will start chapter one, verse nine. I will go verses nine to 15. I'll do I'll go there. I John, who also am your brother and companion in the tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it to, unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, excuse me, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with garment, excuse me, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. And here we are with the of Jesus Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. What does Now, brass does not look pink. Obviously, brass does not look yellow. It is a brownish, a brownish color. Very similar to the color I have, so to speak. Maybe even a bit darker. I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not sitting up here saying I look like Jesus. I obviously don't. Gee, was, I mean, I have no hair, so... <laughs> At least I shave it anyway. But again, woolly hair, meaning coarse hair. I hate to use that term that they gave us, that KN term. I hate that because it's not. We have woolly hair. We have some of us coarse hair, but we never have so-called nappy hair. So again, I just gave you what their clues and characteristics are when it comes to the real people, the real Israelites of the Bible, the real Jews of the Bible. 
I have given you several Bible verses that show the descriptions of them being black of color, being brown of dark brown of color, or being as a fine brass. Now, that certainly does not sound like Max Kellerman's people. I'm just saying. I mean, I understand that it might make a few people uncomfortable, but it's not about comfortability. It is about the truth. And of course, I stand by it. Thank you so much for joining me for this upload. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Uncle Claude signing out, and I will be back later on this evening with another upload. Please take care, and God bless.